Listen to what I learn. And welcome to another episode of Trumpet Earl playing the trumpet, learning the trumpet, and welcome to the channel. So this is a bit of a strange one. This one's going to be a bit of a different one. Obviously, around the world, people are protesting about the injustice that's been happening to a group of people, black people, um, <clears throat> you know, and um, you know. Black people have been protesting for years and speaking about the racial inequality and all of this, the police brutality, the societal differences, the, you know, everything. We've, we've been speaking about it for, for ages, the killings, everything. Um, but this time was a bit different. And I'm not going to repeat what other people have said, but, you know, have a listen to Trevor Noah's video on it. Um, kind of sums it up pretty well, you know. And um, you know, I went to march in London. You know, I protested for Black Lives Matter because Black lives do matter, and all lives can't matter until Black lives matter. Because we together we make up the, you know, we make up the whole thing. Um. So yeah, I went to protest in London yesterday. Um, we marched from Parliament Square down to. Um, down to the US Embassy and I was there for about three or four hours but I felt like I'd, I'd you know marching and being in solidarity with loads of people of every you know every race every every colour every religion every you know we all stood together because we all agree that this thing isn't right you know for me Racism has been like the main battle in my life. More than my weight, more than my height, more than my beard, more than my religion, my race, you know. And it hasn't always, it's not always an obvious kind of thing. It's not like, oh, you're black or oh, I don't like black people. It's not, it's not like that. It's, it's little things, little things people say. The little things that people don't say, or um, just 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 the way kind of like you're greeted, or the certain spaces you go to, just the way that people talk to you and look at you sometimes, are just sure indicators. And you know, after like you know, in my case, twenty seven years of you know being in part of the society, you know, you see the patterns, and you know, you know, what things are like. You know, you know what spaces to go to and not to go to, and you know what to prepare for when you do enter certain spaces. You know how to answer certain questions. Um. Anyway, this is primarily a trumpet, um, channel. You know, a channel dedicated to playing the trumpet and everything, but it's just so important to me, um, you know, to stand up for what's right, you know, and for an easier life, for an equal life. Um, to my white counterparts, you know, Black Lives Matter all the way. And, you know, if you're a support of this channel, then you just got to know that that's what I'm about. You know, um, it's not no sugarcoating. It's not no, oh, yeah, you know, mm, eh. no, Black Lives Matter. That's what I believe in. And if you're down with that, subscribe, subscribe. Um, if you're not down with that, then bye. You know, it is what it is. Um, anyway, it's been too long, um, the same, you know, the same worries that my parents had growing up, the same worries I've had growing up, and probably the same worries that my children will have growing up. Um, so anyway, it was a peaceful pro protest in London, you know, everyone came out, it was, you know, a wicked vibe. I came out with the trumpet, obviously, um, because as well as like a musical tool, and something that I used to express myself through music. 
um, the trumpet is just you know a beacon it's a it's a fanfare it's a loud sound that kind of you know commands attention and um, you know given the circumstances of George Floyd and others in America who have um, you know who've been you know sadly murdered in the same way they can't breathe um, what a way to kind of protest that point that you know we can't breathe and I I played my heart out you know I didn't play any music per se but I just um, I just played that's, that's all I can describe it as um, anyway I, I thought I thought it'd be just fitting to just create a video or just create a video on that experience and um, yeah just 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 talk just talk talk with you all just candidly um, you know I'm, I'm usually just about kind of like learning the trumpet and you know easy life and all of that and yeah but don't know but yeah basically yeah it's just it's just it's just one of those things like for someone like me I've encountered it over you know every each kind of section of my life I can remember kind of like a different battle have, you know that I've had to face um, whether it's been um, primary school primary school is the earliest recollection of it and um, yeah with my teachers funny enough and um, all, you know when I was growing up my mom always said that she'd have to fight for me and it's only when I grew up and actually knew what racism was and I, I properly knew what it was I knew the name of it and I knew <laughs> everything I knew what it was um, that I realized oh my god you know that's what that was you know and um, yeah you know in the workplace um, I've, I've, I've encountered racism in every workplace I've worked in you know I've always uh, you know for the for the most part I've, I've always been kind of part of an obvious minority you know um, and um, when when injustices happen in the world and it makes world news I would be the only person that my colleagues wouldn't talk to about the issue and if they did speak to me about it it would kind of be met with um, I can't lie it would be met with a kind of oh it's the black guy's fault it'd be like oh but if he didn't do this if she didn't do that and it's kind of like come on guy the guy's selling cigarettes the guy's um, the girl's playing in the park with her friends the guy's just in his car you know <laughs> you know and these same people that you know don't quite understand where you're coming from you know the music that they listen to the rap the hip hop the, the the artists that they, they they love and respect talk about these things and they just choose not to listen to it so um yeah so school, the workplace, um, you know, just in society in general. I created my own, <laughs> own business doing photography. I've experienced it at weddings, you know. Um, but hey ho, this isn't kind of like a rant about all the times that I've experienced racism. What this is about is, you know, just coming together as a people and just realizing collectively, re just realizing collectively that this is wrong. You know, everyone deserves an equal fair shot, an equal opportunity. Um, you know, all of this rubbish, all of this sh just killing people, kneeling on people's necks needs to stop. You know, how can the police, the, the police that's supposed to protect you, be killing you? Who do you call? So, um, you know, this is, this is, you know, justice for George Floyd and Sandra Bland. Mayanga Berry and, um, and and all the other people that have, that have died, you know, and all of the brothers, Mark Duggins, um, Tamir Rice, you know, all of the people that have experienced unjust 
even the one the ones that weren't filmed, the ones that didn't die, the ones that are going through it every day at work, the ones that are, are scared to speak out. This is just kind of, uh, you know, this is just solidarity solidarity with all of them. And and if you're with us, you're with us. Um, and if you're quiet, then you're against us. You know, quite frankly. On another note, <laughs> on the march yesterday, so I um. Uh, I, was, I was marching, I was playing my trumpet. Like I said, I wasn't playing any music. I was just playing high notes all day. I was kind of playing to the sh to the rhythm of Black Lives Matter. So it was Black Lives Matter. Beep, 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 beep. So I'd do that and that would generate like quite a buzz in the crowd and then it'd generate a call and response. And then at the end of that, when I just couldn't play anymore, I just let up the highest note I could play. Which I think yesterday was like a like an E sharp or something an E sharp or a G. It was an E sharp. It was first up. Um and um and yeah, that that was pretty much my day yesterday. But <laughs> yesterday I was rolling um and I was next to what I think was like two Ghanaian girls or Nigerians and um they asked me to play this song and I felt so shamed that I couldn't play it. And it's called Blow Your Trumpet. So I took it upon myself today to learn the song. And I used New Score for the first time today um, to kind of, because uh, usually I just write out the, the notes. Yeah, you can't see that. I usually just write out the notes like G, A, B, A, G, F sharp, whatever. Um, but today I just thought, let me just try and put this into proper musical terms. And I put on the stave and yeah. So, um, I'm just going to play a little bit of that and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. 